Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for returning if you're oldie but goodie. If you're new here, please remember to like, share and subscribe. On this channel, we talk about nursing medicine and all things books. Of course, books that we love, books that we don't love so much, books that we're reading and educational books as well. So today we are going to talk about a phenomenal book that I'm reading and it's got a weird title but the title is so befitting of the book. It's called The Boy Who Steals Houses, The Girl Who Steals His Heart and that's the book I am reading at the moment. I'm almost finished reading this book. This book is phenomenal. It has evoked all sorts of emotions from me. I I become anxious. I like feel depressed when when he's depressed. I um I'm happy when he's happy. I'm like so invested in the story and basically this book is written by someone called C G Dews. I've never seen this author before. So if you know this author, um do leave a comment down below but I've never actually seen this author before. I bought this book in a secondhand shop and I love buying books in secondhand shops because they no longer, you know, like sell books in secondhand shops. So when I see them, I'm always like intrigued and I stop and I have a look through. So let's read the back as we always do because we want to know what's going on. So it says, betrayed and abused by everyone who should have taken care of them. Sam and his brother are lost souls. They have a wild, hopeless, precious dream to make a home for themselves. Then Sam meets a girl whose laugh is a burst of stardust. But betrayed, people have the hardest fits. And Sam has a secret that is about to catch up with him. And um, yeah, it, it's really, really intriguing. So I read that back and I thought, oh, you know, I say to you guys, before you buy a book, because somebody asked me, how do you choose a book to purchase? Always read the back of the book. And if it resonates, and if it pulls at your soul, and if it draws you out, then that's the book for you. So basically, um, let's summarize the story. So Sam is 15. He's got a brother who's autistic, who's 17, 17, 17 and a half. And um, basically they're homeless. Their dad was abusive, mom walked out. Dad left them with their auntie. They stayed there for a few years, but she was abusive as well. And they ran away. And basically they're living on the streets. So Sam's brother, who's autistic, um, has met some people. He's sleeping on their couch. And they are getting him to do nefarious things, things that he shouldn't do, illegal things. And Sam, what he does is he breaks into houses. So hence the boy who steals houses. He breaks into houses not to steal things. He breaks into houses to get somewhere to sleep for the night because he doesn't have anywhere to sleep. Now, he breaks into... The yellow on the book is befitting. He breaks... Yellow is his favourite colour. It reminds him of the sunshine, reminds him of happiness. And he breaks into a yellow house. And he's, you know, he saw all the things that tells him that the people won't return, you know, anytime soon. So he thought he'd spend some time there, somewhere to sleep and all of that, some food to eat, all that sort of stuff. And they return. And when they came, it was like a big boisterous family. And that's where he met the girl called Moxie. And Moxie steals his heart. So hence, the girl who steals his heart. And... um. I won't give away too much, but it's like a love story that um, is told from the eyes of an abused child. So we can't forget that there's abuse in this book. So if you're triggered by abuse, you know, then this might not be the book for you because as I say, it's a roller coaster ride. It, it had me feeling anxious. It had me feeling a little bit down when he was down. It had me feeling happy when he was happy. But to be honest with you, there's more downs than happiness. So if you're triggered, this isn't the book. And you know, I like to read a um, little paragraph. I've got two places that I wanted to read. And because um, I think it summarizes the book quite well. I like when it says, Sam is a thief. This is what he does, isn't it? 
He stuffs the wad of notes into his pocket, guilt wrapped around his throat. Goodbyes are hollered, the front door slams, engine fade down the road. And that is like so sad, you know, because everybody's going home. They're saying goodbye. Everybody's going home. He's not got home. So he's looking to steal some cash so he can get something to eat the following day. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's a terrible life, basically. And another bit I like, it says, then Moxie storms into view, looking like a goddess of vengeance and war. <laughs> I mean, this is a 15-year-old girl looking like a goddess of vengeance and war. Um, so I found that quite in intriguing. And she's she's looking like the goddess of vengeance and war, but she's in a Wonder Woman pyjama. <laughs> that is something else. Wonder Woman pyjama looking like the goddess of vengeance and war. And another thing, the love affair, it's, it's a child's love affair. It's not an adult relationship love affair. It's a child's love affair. And, you know, when you meet that first guy that you really fancy, your teenager, hormones all over the place, you meet that first guy that you really fancy and, you know, you are so in homage with him and he's in homage with you. You know, that sort of young love that you never rekindle when you're older, but that sort of young love. And um, what did it say? Is it, uh, where is it? Where is it? They, so basically, in this bit, Sam is trying to apologize to Moxie. And they say, they still don't know you were a creepy intruder, Moxie says. But I'll claim you as my friend. And they'll forget I said you weren't. They're boys. Their brains are collective size of a pea. Hmm. So <laughs> Moxie's got lots of brothers. And she's saying together, their brain isn't as big as a pea. So that's the kind of banter she has with... Um, with Sam and you know it just seems so fresh and seems it's not forced it's just an energizing conversation that they have together and she's get she's got him to do her little bit in anything she wants done she gets him to do it so um those are the quotes that I like I think the most important aspect of this book is that um even though it's a love story and everything I think what I get from this is that there's so many children who are abused so many abused children and um, stop abusing the children please they're kids so so many abused children and they just need love so that's what I get from this um in terms of stars you know I don't like to do five star reviews I like to do 10 because I think it gives you more leeway to say how you feel about the book and I'll definitely give this book an eight and a half I really enjoy reading it I've got like three pages left um and I'm gonna try and finish that up today so that's what I think of this book Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me talk about the books I love. And please remember to like, share and subscribe. If um, you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. I'm repeating myself. It's repetition. You learn from repetition. And you know you want to subscribe. You know you like watching me. Anyway, so thank you for watching. And see you next time.